Hello, uh, this is Randy and thanks for joining me in this video. This is an uh, addendum or an update or to share some new information about specifically about GeoIP filtering and uh, PF blocker in G about um, there's a, a common problem that shows up when you begin to add multiple DNS blacklists. Those need some additional memory and um, I want to show you how you can allocate that. But first, let's take a look at, at GeoIP. In our earlier videos, we, uh, we took an approach with GeoIP that was used for, for a while. And more recently, I've, I've seen some updated information and I've, I've uh, taken a new strategy and I want to share that with you. So I went to Firewall, PF Blocker, and GIP, and then I go to GeoIP. And I'm starting out with uh, the post installation configuration, which is all of my, my categories disabled. Remember, these get populated from the MaxMinds database. And what got me thinking was someone mentioned to me about this reference down here at the bottom. Specifically, it says, it is not recommended to block the world. Instead, consider rules to permit traffic to and from select countries only. Okay, that's one thing. The other thing to mention is that when you make any changes with uh, PF Blocker NG, you do need to rerun update. It, 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 you just do. Uh, you got to rerun update, and it, what it does is it loads in the new configuration. So, in other words, if you make some changes and you don't see them being applied or you don't see the results of them, it's like, oh yeah, I've got to run update. So, let me show you a different approach. In the earlier video, we talked about going in here and enabling all these different countries and then going to them and um, denying different countries, creating deny rules. What we were doing was uh, was deny inbound. And when you do a deny inbound, it, it literally creates a rule for that and puts it into your firewall rules. So I'm gonna do a little different approach. So what I wanna do this time is I wanna leave all, all of these alone except for North America. And I'm gonna change the rule type instead of a deny inbound rule based upon my list. I'm going to go with the with a an alias permit rule. Now all of these have definitions. If there's a like a, a website specifically for PF Blocker NG, PF Blocker is used on other platforms besides PF Sense. So lots of good information out there uh, from other sources about how how um, what choices you make and what their effects are. But alias permit says that whatever I define on my, my list is going to be permitted rather than denied. Okay, up here, we did it earlier, we did it deny inbound. Well, then everything that I select when I go to the pencil is going to be denied, where here, alias permit, everything I select with the pencil is going to be allowed. And so this is a much shorter list. Okay, looks like I've got already got United States selected from uh, practicing with this. Okay. So list action is, is alias permit. And I've selected just the United States. And I'm gonna go ahead and save that. Now what's gonna happen is I'm gonna to need to go in and, and do my update. And that takes a, a couple of minutes. So what you need to do here is you need to go and, and all I really need to do is I just need to reload and I just need to reload the IP section but it, it seems to take a long time no matter what you do. Okay, so I'm gonna do that because until I do that, nothing has, has changed with what I just did. In other words, if I go to, to do, update my firewall rules, which I wanna show you, if I go to check for was an alias created, it's not there yet. So everything is dependent now. I made the changes and I need to go to, to reload IP and then run and then I can select select view here and we can watch it happen, but I'll pause the video. So now that my update finished, let's go look in and see what I got for that. So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm going to firewall and I'm going to aliases. You remember that what I asked it to create was uh, for North America was a, an alias uh, allow. And so when I go to aliases and I go to all, I want you to notice here that it did that. It created one for 
PF Blocker North America version four, PF Blocker North America version six. And this then references my GOIP list of which I only selected the United States for both IPv4 and IPv6. Okay, so that's what this alias is. It's referencing my, my allow selection because I did alias allow. I then, what I click on in my list for North America is now allowed instead of denied. And it creates an alias for me that I can use in my firewall rules. Let me show you how that's gonna work. So I go over here to my firewall rules and we've got our normal default rules. And then I've got four rules for a web server, one for, or two for IPv4 and two for IPv6. And I wanna leave the web server open to the world. And so I'm gonna leave those alone. But what I've got down here is I've got my open VPN rule, my, my incoming listen on the WAN interface for open VPN. And I want to, to apply the alias to this rule so that only open VPN requests from the United States will be uh, accepted. So let me show you how I do that. I go over here to the pencil and I come down to the source. Currently the source is any and I change that to single host or alias. And then I come over here and I type in the name of the alias I wish to use. I just typed in PF and it, it you know, how it, it sorts for me. Now my open VPN server is, is only answering on IPv4. And so I'm just gonna use the IPv4 alias that was created. I then go and save that. And then I apply that to my firewall rule. And notice here what it did. And I did test this because there, there is some, um, I didn't find a lot of information on this from the internet. I saw, I saw a lot of information about how I would say how we used to do it, where we would just like kind of deny a lot. And it was that, that, that message I showed you where it says, you know, don't, don't think of it that way. Think about just allowing what you need. And that, that's what this does. So this much simplifies things. And now all I'm doing uh, is uh, when it comes to this rule is I'm filtering off of this list, which came from, my GOIP North America list, my that I that I clicked on the United States, and and I tested it. I I uh, remoted into my home network, and uh, I was able to establish an open VPN connection. I then changed it. I I took away the United States and I put in, I forget where I put in, but uh, somewhere else in North America, and sure enough, open VPN could not connect. I go back, I put it uh, put the United States select United States again and. Again, uh, open, open VPN Connect. Now, please do remember that every time you make a change with um, PF Blocker, you do have to run the update program. So this is this is better, and I almost feel like that we just need to kind of review for a moment, and I'll do that. So what took us down this path is we were into the GOIP category, and a lot of the tutorials that the tutorial I had done and, and others that other people had done, we opted for a way that we used to do this. I'm only saying used to because uh, because of this note down here that I'm considering this kind of a, a new or better way to do it. We used to just go ahead and deny everything. And then what wasn't denied was allowed. And that could still be appropriate. And I'm going to leave the lab the way it is just to see that you know how to do this. That's the way the lab is set up, the screenshot in lab is showing that you've denied lots of stuff and you're getting uh, counts on that. But this video then is to tell you, okay, we think there's a better way to do it. And the better way, which may work for a lot of, a lot of situations is rather than denying the world, again, referencing the notes down here, rather than denying the world, just choose who you want to allow and, and then create a, an allow, an alias permit, go in and check your, your countries that you want do your update. Once you do your update, you're going to see aliases created for all of the, the countries or the, the alias, or excuse me, the, the GOIP groups. You'll see then for every one of them that has any setting on it, alias anything, you're going to see um, aliases created for those. Then go to your firewall and you can now use those in your rules. Now, the last thing that I want to, okay, okay, that's kind of like the end of that discussion. 
I'll, I'll tell you that, as I mentioned in the earlier video, this is incredibly powerful. And what I'm uh, currently running at home is, is this setup, is if we go back to IP and GeoIP, I have this top one here as the spammer, GeoIP's top spammers. I do have that one as deny inbound, and that creates a literal firewall rule, which goes to the top of my list. And so deny inbound creates the rule, uh, everything is said and done. I could also, you know, yes, lots of choices, lots and lots of choices. If there's anything we could say about PF Blocker, PF Sense, and all these tools, lots of different ways to do it. Okay, so at home and, and what I'm doing here at site or what I will be doing here in site is I'll be doing this. I'll be denying inbound for the spammers. That'll create a rule for me, but then I'll be doing alias permit and I'll, I'll specify any of our resources that are only intended for our audience, which is North America, actually, which is just a part of the United States. I'm going to alias permit. I know I, I'm, I'm reiterating the point, but I guess I just want to be sure that it's clear to you. The other thing that I want to show you is if you play around with this, let's see if I got it, got the error here. Okay. This error right here, cannot allocate memory. There's a, this is a known thing and it, it, it's a correctable error. Now, what I want to show you is, is that when you receive this, what it's telling you here is that there weren't enough firewall table entries available to allow everybody to be cached. Okay, and in Canvas, I put a, a, a link to this, to uh, just, a, there's, there's lots of different places on the internet, but I, I did a link to um, a Reddit article. And what it says is it says what I'm gonna show you, and that's it. It's not that you don't have enough physical memory installed. Now we built these pretty light, right? We built these with four gig of memory and uh, what well, we still have a lot of it left, right? It's only using 21%. It's not talking about that. What it's talking about is it's talking about how the memory is allocated. And so to show you where the setting is, you need to change. We go into advanced firewall and NAT and we scroll down to this one right here, firewall maximum table entries. And what I do on, on each individual installation is I start increasing this number until I lose the air. And sometimes you have to increase it a lot. So I'll leave it up to you. It depends on, on uh, like how much DNSBL you're doing. If you're doing a lot, then you have to add a lot. But to correct that error, you increment this number. Um, and, and don't be surprised if you have to increment it quite a bit. And then reboot the server. First of all, clear your error, reboot the server. I'll just give you an example. I'm going to, to double mine, okay? So I'm gonna double it, come down here and save it, okay? I'm gonna come up here and clear my error. And then I'm gonna reboot the server and see if the error comes back. Okay, just one last thing. If I go back into firewall and, and uh, PFLockerNG and the DNSPL, the current version, the videos that I did were, uh, were a year ago and of course, and, and it's different now, it's three dot something instead of just three dot O. But I, I went ahead and added my, my Stephen Black like I showed you in the video because it's one of my favorites. But it does take a lot of memory and it generated a bunch of those errors. And so for to try to get my, my uh, GOIP squared away, I, I temporarily disabled it. But that's what you got to do. You got to tweak it. And um, it is getting better. Like you notice that there's fewer things here. The, the defaults out of the box work really well. Okay, enough said. I'll wrap up this video and uh, we'll call it good for, for uh, PF, block, PF Blocker NG, the development version, GOIP filtering, and DNSBL. I think we've given you enough information that with a little bit of investment on your part, you can do some amazing things. All right, thank you and I'll see you in the next video.